All right, we're going to be talking about truth tables here in lesson two and circuits in lesson three. Okay, talk about them together. But I want to real quickly do a quick summary here. Okay, so we talked about P and Q, whatever those statements are. And P can be true and Q can be true. P can be true and Q false. P false and Q true. And they can both be false. All right. Then we talked about P and Q. Now, remember, a way to remember the and is the upside down V is that it almost looks like a capital A. You've seen me mess that up many times. So the capital A would be for and. We just don't make a capital A. It's just an upside down V. All right. And we're also going to remind ourselves of P or Q, which is the V type symbol right there. I was going to put these up here just as a quick reference chart to use when we get down to these examples. So with and, it's a very strict requirement, all right? So the only time it's true is if both of them are true. Otherwise, it's always false, okay? P or Q, only one of them has to be true. So the only time you get a false is when they're both false. Otherwise, we have true. All right, so that's just going to be our little reference chart for what we talked about here. All right, so construct a truth table for this. Now, remember, this is P or Q or not P. Okay, so what we're going to do over here is we're going to fill in what we know. So anytime we see a P, we're going to look at this column. Anytime we see a Q, we're going to look at this column, all right? So we're going to trans translate the first one. And we're just substituting letters in, all right? So we have in parentheses for this first one, P or Q. Okay, well, we're just going to say true or true. Or not P. Now, we don't change it ahead of time, okay? We just look at what P is. It's T, so we say not true. Okay, now what does that yield for us? Well, T or T, true or true, gives us true, All right? And then we have this or symbol again, and not true is false. And then if we have a true or false, as long as we have one true, that ends up being true. So this statement comes out like that. All right, let's just keep going. We're gonna put them back in. So P or Q. So we have our parentheses, true or false, because that's our Q right now. Or not, okay, not P. This time P is, well, this time P is still true. So we say not true. And now we step over and we look at the parentheses, true or false. Okay, well, true or false, again, as long as we have one true, that's true. Or, not true again is false, and once again, true or false leads to true. So that ends up being a true statement. All right, parentheses, we start with that. We just write our P, which is false this time. We put an or, and we put Q. We're just substituting in right there. Now we're going to put that or, and then we say not P, but we don't change it. We just write what P is, so not false, right? The parentheses, false or true, again, that just simply becomes true, and not false is true, and if you have true or true, that's true again. And we're just substituting in again, so we have our parentheses. We have false or false or not P, which is false. Now we translate the parentheses, false or false. Well, that's false. Or not false is true. And again, as long as we have one true, it ends up being true. So every one of these ends up being a true statement when we evaluate them. 
All right, example two. We have P and Q. So remember, this right here is an and. And we have not Q or P. So a little bit more work here. I'm just going to take it step by step. So in this first one, we have P and Q. So true and true. And we have not P. So we just put what P is. We don't change it in our head yet. We just put what not P is. I'm sorry, my, my bad. Not Q. Same thing on this one, luckily. Or what is P? True. And we close it up. Now we're going to evaluate this first parentheses. True and true leads to true. Then we have that big and in the middle. Then we have our other parentheses. So not true is false. Okay. We can do that here. Or true. Okay, and that leads us to true and, again, there's my little mistake there. I want to do a capital A. True and, we look at this, false or true is true. And that leads us to running around of room, so I'll just put it right there. Now, if you didn't want to take this time to do this, you could have right here, done this and gone directly to here. That's up to you, personal preference, however your brain processes it, all right? So the second one, again, we're looking at P and Q. So we just write true and false. We're just writing what is there. Then you put the and, then we put our parentheses, and then we're gonna say not Q, so not false. Or, P, which is true. Okay. So now we look at this first parentheses, true and false is false. Okay. They have to both be true for an and. Then we have another and. Now, again, depending on how you want to do this, if you want to cross this off here and say that's true, and I have true or true, Now, I have false and true. Well, that's false. They both need to be true to be true. Okay. Next one, we put our parentheses. We put P, which is false, and Q, which is T. We put our big and. We say not Q, which in this case is T or P, which is F, and now we evaluate each parentheses. So false and true, that's false, and again, not true is false. So false or false, this is a one time, that's false. And since we have false and false, Overall ends up being false. Remember, the only time we have an and true is that they're both true. And last but not least on this one, P and Q. So false and, again, there I go again. I can't help myself. And false. Then we put our and, put our parentheses. We say not Q. Now let's just do it a little bit differently this way. If you want to right away say not Q, so Q is false. If you want to just go directly to that, that's fine. Or P. Now we do each parentheses. False and false, that's false. T, true or false. As long as we have one of them, that's true. But again, if we have false and true, that's false. And last one. <clears throat> Q 
Q, remember this is or, this is or, and this is or. So a lot of ors. So we have Q first this time. So pay attention, we're always starting with this one in this parentheses and second parentheses. So in this one, doesn't really matter. It's going to be true. Oh, my bad. This first one was an and. <clears throat> so it's and, or, or. So we have true, and, P, true. Or, Q, which is true, or not P. So we can put not true, or if you want to go directly to this, you can. It's up to you. Then we evaluate each one. T and T, true and true is true. And true or false is also true. So true or true leads to true. All right? Remember, we're starting with Q. So we're looking at the Q column first. So Q and P. So false and true. Or Q or not P, which again would be false if you want to skip that step. Now false and true leads to false. They're not both true. Then we put the or. False or false, that's the one time it's false. And then we have false or false again, which leads to an overall false. Okay, next one. We have Q, which is true, and we have P, which is false. Or we have Q, which is true, or not P. And again, we want to write not false here and then change it to true, or we can just change it to true right here. Up to you. So true and false, that's false. Or true and true, that's true. And with false or true, as long as we have one truth, we're good. And last one. Okay. Q and P. So false and false. Or Q. Or not P, not false, which is true. Each parentheses. False and false. <clears throat> That's false. False or true. That's true. And as long as we have one true on an or statement, that ends up being true. And that's it for truth table.